now uh, we'll be talking about the third question okay uh, just now we have solved the second one and now we'll be solving the third question so let me read the third question children uh, the third question is is force of friction a contact force okay like what is asked over here like whether this frictional force okay is a contact force or it is a non contact force so we all know frictional force is purely a contact force isn't it so what we will write yes answer number 3rd yes isn't it as uh, they have not asked uh, like explain or something like that no word is there ok but still I will explain it to you why friction is a contact force student because uh, we all know friction cannot exist until and unless is contact between the two surface isn't it if the contact is there then only the two surfaces ok if then only the two surfaces uh, because of the roughness of the two surfaces uh, the hills and valleys between the hills and valleys the interlocking is formed and that only give rise to frictional force isn't it so frictional force cannot exist without contact isn't it so what we will write yes uh, frictional force is a contact force but they have not uh, see every time I tell this that the answers what we write always depends upon the marks and the way it is asked if this question comes in one word answer or say one mark answer half mark answer ok then it is ok or else then you have to explain by giving some example. So what example can you give children you can give many examples which we have discussed is not it so any one you can uh, discuss over here and again then you need to write that friction force cannot exist until unless the two surfaces ok two surfaces comes in contact because friction originates only due to the roughness of the surface ok and what happens when the surface is rough the interlocking takes place between hills and valleys ok and thus the frictional cause uh, frictional force is created. So I have written yes and I have explained also so I hope you will be writing this answer by your own is not it. So now we will talk about question number 4th ok we will talk about the question number 4th now children the question number 4th is what is a lubricant ok now children uh, what is a lubricant only this much is the question now if you all remember we have discussed uh, about the lubricants in the chapter now whenever the friction is there ok wherever whenever the friction is there and when it exceeds then this friction has to be reduced take the example of even your uh, uh, the ledge of the door when the ledge of the door ok it does not works properly it starts making certain kind of noise uh, take the example of the fan when you switch on the fans and when it makes several kind of different kind of noises then what we do a very simple thing that we all that is not it when your vehicles uh, make certain you uh, know produces different kind of noises then what has to be done children it has to be oiled then even the grease is used grease is also kind of a lubricants ok but where and why it is used lubricants just now as I told lubricants are used in different vehicles in different machines and it is to reduce the friction is not it it is to reduce the friction now what actually like uh, how this lubricants reduce the friction so just take the example like suppose this is one surface and this is the another one ok now take the example like suppose this is the uh, part of the fan and again this is a part of some of the fan itself and this two are getting rubbed, rubbed by each other ok they and so the friction is created now what will happen children if the this part is oiled if this part is oiled or greased ok if the grease is used then what will happen children here whatever roughness is there ok whatever even uh, unevenness is there in the surface because of the grease all this surface this pores this unevenness get filled up ok and then above that what happens this forms ok uh, like all this is filled this space is filled totally with the grease or the oil and there remains a very less difference ok 
just a uh, just a small separating line a thin separating line remains which separates the two surfaces and thus um, in between these two surfaces what is there actually now grease is there so the two surfaces do not comes in contact with each other and uh, thus like it it will come obviously but that contact area will get reduced and so even friction will get reduced okay so what we are talking about we are talking about question number 4 children what is question number 4th question number 4th is uh, what is lubricant so what is the meaning of lubricant children a lubricant is a uh, one which reduces the friction and what are the examples of lubricants may be grease oil and how does it work children uh, when lubricants are used say for example grease or oil they fill the surface between the uh, two the gaps between the two surfaces and uh, again the surface becomes very smooth okay that unevenness is gets converted into smoothness okay and then uh, what happens the contact area get reduced and so friction also get reduced okay so we'll write the answer the it is fourth one it is about lubricants so what are lubricants children lubricants are lubricants are used to reduce friction okay lubricants are used to reduce friction how it is used lubricants like oil or grease is used between two rough surfaces okay so now when it is used between two rough surfaces so what will happen so the lubricant fills the unevenness of the substance okay unevenness of the substance and thus reduce the friction okay so what is there children lubricants are the one which reduce the friction and lubricants can be grease can be oil is it and what does it do it fills the space between the two spaces two surfaces okay so it fills the unevenness also okay when the grease is filled between the two surfaces all the unevenness roughness get converted into smoothness and so sliding becomes very very easy okay but always remember zero zero friction area absolute zero cannot be created but yeah of course uh, uh, you know like uh, approximately or uh, on an average or uh, almost zero friction can be created but uh, absolute zero friction cannot be created okay so this was our question of what are lubricants okay now we will talk about the fifth question children first i'll have to wrap this part now we'll come to the fifth question before discussing fifth question i'll just wrap this thing okay so we'll talk about fifth question children what is rolling friction okay so we know that rolling friction uh, we have studied about the three frictions okay first of all static friction then sliding friction and then rolling friction isn't it we also studied that static friction is the highest one okay the maximum friction uh, can be seen observed or felt um, uh, where in the static friction okay what is static friction that means when the body is kept and is not in motion 
Now what is sliding friction? It is lesser than the static friction but more than the rolling friction. And what is rolling, uh, uh, this thing sliding friction children? When a substance or when an object is moving on the surface. Okay, why it is less? Because it is moving. So interlocking is being broken again and again. Now rolling friction is the least fun. Okay, when the body rolls it uh, observes um, it is, if, uh, it uh, generates least friction. Take the example of the tires, the tires rolls and thus the friction created is very very less. See rolling friction is the friction which is uh, the like you no, know, it is the least one and why it is less children because when the body rolls it comes the surface area which comes in contact becomes very less is not it when the body rolls the surface area comes which comes in contact becomes very very less. So, here it they have asked about what is rolling friction. So, it is question number fifth rolling friction is the when the when the body rolls on the surface then it is said to be a rolling friction. Okay. So, for example what when the body rolls on the surface okay. when the body rolls on the surface of another the friction that exists is known as rolling friction is not it said to be a rolling friction when the now example also we can write over here for example it is created in the case of wheels and ball bearings. Okay. So, it is ca caused when it is created when children whenever the surface is uh, rolling when the body is rolling okay when the, when the body is rolling on the surface. So, wheels it rolls okay then uh, ball it rolls is not it. So, that is the reason okay. Now, we will come to the next question question number 6. Okay. So, what is question number 6 children? The question number 6 is Okay. Swing machine is often oiled. Uh, why it is oiled? Just now we studied about the lubricants, is not it? So, even I do not think that this answer should be written on the blackboard and even that it should be discussed. Why the oil is used? Children, oil is used as it is a lubricant, is not it? So, what is the question? Swing machine is often oiled. Why it is oiled? Just to reduce the friction, is not it? So, now we will come to the next question, children. Uh, so, uh, now we will come to the question number 7, why aeroplanes are made streamlined, okay, why aeroplanes are made streamlined, see now what is the meaning of fluids first of all, so we will leave the 6 question and now we will discuss about the 7th question, okay. So, children uh, or one more thing we can do we can write this only as a question number 6. Okay. Now, uh, what is the question number 6 children? Question number 6 is why aeroplanes are made streamlined. See, first of all uh, the fluids, what is the meaning of fluids children? Fluids means the uh, liquids and the gases. Okay. Now, liquids and the gases they create a kind of frictional force. Okay. That means the frictional is created here also. Now, this force the friction created by the fluids is known as drag force. Okay. Now, when the drag force uh, you know has to be reduced when we want this drag force to be reduced. So, 
what what has to be done children the body's shape has to be changed because by changing the shape of the body the drag force can be reduced okay and so the streamlined shape is being given to the aeroplanes or the boats because then these solid bodies moves in the air or the water and thus to uh, minimize the drag effect drag force the body is designed as streamlined okay so what is streamlined beta oh, children okay uh, it, it happens uh, sometimes like we get a feeling that we are teaching you know not in front of camera and we are there in front of children only students only okay okay so now question number 6 is what children that uh, uh, why the aeroplanes are streamlined so fluids always remember what is the fluid children liquids and gases are known as fluids okay and the force created by the fluids are, is known as what drag force okay fluids create the frictional force which is called as fluids drag force okay now see what is the meaning of fluids children liquids and gases are known as fluids now the fluids also creates or exerts friction now this friction which is created by fluids is known as what drag force now drag force by giving spatial shapes to the body the drag force has to be by giving special shapes to the body the drag force can be or it should be can be can be reduced okay i'll just rub this part okay so by giving special shapes to the body the drag force can be reduced okay can be reduced so aeroplanes are made streamlined so aeroplanes are made streamlined okay now if you want to elaborate this from here also then you can elaborate isn't it so what was the question children the question was uh, uh, why the aeroplanes are of streamlined shape okay so why the aeroplanes are of streamlined shape because first of all the fluids uh, produces drag force okay now what is drag force the uh, the fluids when they create frictional force that is known as drag force what are fluids children fluids means the gases and the liquids okay now the friction is created by these liquids and gases also and this friction is known as drag force now this drag force can be reduced by using some special kinds of uh, shapes that is the reason that streamlined shape is being uh, given to the uh, aeroplanes or we talk about the boats and okay all bodies which uh, can, which flies in the sky or runs in the water okay so the streamlined shape is very very important because when it is very sharp it has the power to cut or to overcome the friction or the drag force which is created by the fluids in simple language it it reduces the friction or it cuts the air it cuts the water the shape cuts the air and cuts the water and that is the reason it is again able to reduce the friction so this was about the question number 6 now actually 6 uh, question we have discussed only and so i have given this question number i have uh, written 6 okay to the i have given question uh, this question as i have written this question as question number 6 okay so now we'll move to the next question children but before that please uh, note this so that we can uh, proceed to the next one okay 
So now we'll talk about question number seven, children. Now, what is question number children uh, seven? <laughs> what is question number seven, children? Okay. So it is uh, how can we reduce friction? Okay. It is what? How can we reduce friction? So one way of reducing friction just now we studied, isn't it? We studied that by lubricating, uh, lubricating, isn't it? By the use of lubricants or by lubricating, we can reduce the friction. So what are the other ways by which we can reduce the friction? The other ways by which we can reduce the friction is polishing, painting, isn't it? And uh, even the um, use of ball bearings or even by using the wheels, isn't it? So just I will write the sentence, friction can be reduced by lubricants okay wheels ball bearings and polishing okay so first of all uh, what are the things or by the use of what or how can we reduce the friction children so friction can be reduced by by what by the use of lubricants wheels ball bearings and even by painting or polishing isn't it so we have to explain either two okay so uh, lubricants just now we have done we will talk a bit about polishing and wheels just in a line or two so what is polishing and what happens by polishing children by polishing again a layer comes between the two surface and the two surface do not comes in contact directly with each other which reduces the friction isn't it now uh, why uh, polishing uh, should be done or you know one uh, one more important thing like if the polishing is done okay on the surfaces and these two surfaces are made up of same metal then again the friction get increased so what has to be done you know the uh, this also we have studied that the alloy can be used isn't it by use of alloys also the friction can be reduced so that is also one of the good idea the use of alloy can also you reduce the friction so i uh, will talk about just now about the wheels what are the wheels wheels are the rolling bodies isn't it due to wheels the suppose take the example of suitcases when the wheels are atta attached to the suitcase then what happens the wheels rolls isn't it it rotates and then it rolls actually it rolls and then which friction will be created rolling friction will be created and so friction will be reduced isn't it and thus the friction uh, whatever is created over here will be lesser than the other friction because sliding friction is not there static friction is not there rather rolling friction is being created so it is the uh, what which kind of friction it is the friction which is a it is a situation when the least friction is created isn't it so lubricants just now we discuss now we will talk about polishing we will write one or two lines okay polishing by the use of polish the friction get reduced okay by the use of polish the friction get reduced a thin layer of polish do not allow the surfaces to come in contact 
Okay. So, polishing by the use of polish the friction get reduced a thin layer of polish do not allow the surfaces to come in contact and make the surface do not uh, come in contact directly ok right directly surface smooth and even ok. So, by the use of polish the friction get reduced a thin layer of polish do not allow the surfaces to come in contact directly ok. Directly means they are touching each other, but still that layer is there polished layer is there in between which makes the surface smooth ok directly and make the surface smooth and even. So, what happens the friction get reduced by the use of polishing in this way the friction get reduced hence the friction get reduced ok the friction get reduced. Now, second we can talk about wheels by the use of wheels by the use of wheels the rolling friction is created rolling friction is created which is the best way to reduce the friction ok. Let us read now wheels what they do by the use of wheels the rolling friction is created which is the best way to reduce the friction as why children as rolling friction is the one which is the least one among the types of friction ok. So, these are the two ways how the friction can be reduced and just now we have discussed about the lubricants also is not it. So, uh, what is uh, the question all about the question is all about that how one can reduce the friction. So, how the friction can be reduced student friction can be reduced by the use of lubricants ball bearings ok and polishes wheels all these are the ways to reduce the friction. So, we have discussed over here to polishing polishing means what to just cover the surface with the help of some polish. Now, what happens in this the two surfaces between the two surface the polish is there and so it reduces the friction ok. Why and how because by use of polish the surface becomes smooth and even and thus reduce the friction. Now, second is wheels this is the well experienced by uh, one uh, no, because we all use suitcases and you all know that when you have when you go for the vacations and you have to lift your suitcases it is so difficult, but then your when your suitcase has got wheels just to drag the suitcases with the help of the wheels become very very easy is not it why because which friction is created because of the wheels the rolling friction is created and we all know this is a, a friction which is uh, uh, among the we can say and the static is the highest one. Uh, then the sliding and this one is the least one that means the friction is created in the less amount due to rolling friction ok. 
So this was all about the question number 7 children. Now we will discuss about the next question. So please know this so that we can move to the next question.